And back here at home, just a beautiful fall day today. Lots of sunshine. Could have had a Browns win, but I digress. <laughs> we, we just had to get there. Let's, I know, let's just focus back on the beautiful weather. I was thinking last night, I was, I was thinking about saying to Nick, I was like, weather is not going to be a factor <laughs> for the Browns winning or losing today. Mm. However, it did kind of soften the blow with all the sunshine that we had here. Good. I think over the next few hours, we can safely say that it's going to be a really nice fall evening across Northeast Ohio. Temperatures kind of falling back into the upper 40s overnight tonight, not getting into the 30s. Of course, you remember we had some really significant chilly weather across the area with that frost advisory in effect. And frankly, much of the lower 48 is enjoying quiet conditions at this hour, especially for our friends down there in Florida. They're able to get back into their homes. A little bit of a cold front moving off the coastline there, sparking a few light showers. But again, nothing too terrible. Here's where our next weather maker is, and it doesn't have a whole lot of gusto associated with it overnight tonight through the early hours for us tomorrow. It'll sag south of the region here, coming on shore as a cold front, but then kind of wane as it moves rather inland, and so that'll temper the conditions and not allow us to get too terribly cold out there. We still do have that frontal boundary draped up towards the north. High pressures in control across the vast majority of the region of the Ohio River Valley and also the mid-Atlantic states. And even temperatures are beginning to rebound just a hair as well. Upper 50s to low 60s, stretching from PA all the way back over to the Buckeye State and almost near 70 degrees for the Chicagoland area. Because we still have that area of high pressure to the south of us, we're throwing back some of those west winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. They become even more southwesterly as we make our way through the first half of Monday and more southerly by Tuesday heading towards Wednesday and southerly winds equal warmer conditions. As far as our temperature change, we're still about 5 to 10 degrees warmer from 24 hours ago because of that west wind moving on in. So the upper 50s and low 60s has really kind of offered a really nice finish to our Sunday. That trough is still dipping down. OK, we still have below average conditions across the vast majority of the region uh, east of the Mississippi River. Monday, Tuesday, we have mostly sunny skies here. By the time we get to Wednesday, notice this happens here. Warm front lifting north across the region. We push those 60s to near 70 degrees. 70s turn to low 70s, but also coming out of cost. This is what our cost is going to be. It's going to be rain showers moving on in with increasing clouds on Wednesday. Widespread showers are going to be possible and becoming even more scattered by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. Thereafter, we bid farewell to the warm front. We have that cold front coming in. After that, trough dig down below. We have even colder conditions coming back in. So we have sort of a rinse and repeat pattern as opposed to what we had last week as well across the region. Widespread rain will not any sort of equal in terms of flash flooding or anything like that. But again, as I like to say, we'll have a few more drops in the bucket across the area. 40s widespread overnight tonight could have even some upper 40s to low 50s along the lakeside. We'll all be in the 60s near 70 degrees for tomorrow. And I think by the time we get to the middle of the week, we'll exchange some of those lows to even mid to low 50s across the region. Now check this out near Union Home Mortgage 7 day. As I said before, warm up is coming, but also cold is going to be following suit by the time we get to Friday of this week. Upper 30s to low 40s with filter sunshine. I think Lena, by the time we get to Saturday, Sunday of next week, upper 50s to low 60s and afternoon highs, not too bad for the fall season. All right. Sounds great. Thanks, Jason.